Hello everyone, welcome to Metaclergic Revision Videos YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss cardiac syncope and some main syndromes related with it. So let's get started. Syncope means fainting or passing out means getting unconscious. There are two main causes of cardiac syncope. First one is related to structural heart defects and second one is related to arrhythmias. So structural heart defects are the one of main cause of abnormal electrical activity in heart. It means heart is more susceptible to abnormal electrical activity in structural heart defects. Some of examples of structural heart defects are valvular diseases, myocardial infarction, hypertrophy and other cardiomyopathies, cardiac masses. For example atrial myxoma, pericardial effusion etc. Now let's come to the one of main reason of cardiac syncope, which is arrhythmias. In both abnormalities, bradyarrhythmias and tachyarrhythmias there are high chances of cardiac syncope. Syncope due to bradyarrhythmias is often associated with atrial tachyarrhythmias, which is called tachycardia, bradycardia syndrome. In this syndrome end of tachycardia is followed by bradycardiac state with prolonged pause between them which leads to syncope. Also the drugs causing bradycardia can lead to cardiac syncope. Other reasons for cardiac syncope include sever sinoatrial node dysfunction caused by sinus arrest, sinoatrial block, atrioventricular node block, morbids type 2, high grade or complete atrioventricular block. Sysyncope due to bradycardia or asystole is referred as Stokes-Adams syndrome. Next reason of cardiac syncope is due to ventricular tachyarrhythmias. Syncope is in part depends on ventricular rate. If ventricular rate is low, low cardiac output and eventually syncope. Less than 200 beats per minute, less likely to cause syncope. Also compromised hemodynamic function seen in infective ventricular coi, decreased diastolic feeling period, concurrent myocardial infarction. Now let's discuss disorders associated with cardiac electrophysiologic instability and arrhythmogenesis. Can be divided into three main syndromes. First one is long QT syndrome. It is genetically heterogeneous. Heterogeneous means variety of genetic defects lead to this disease. Here we can see prolonged cardiac repolarization which predispose to ventricular arrhythmias. Syncope and sudden death resulting from polymorphic ventricular tachycardia also called torsades de points, which degenerates ventricular fibrillation. Some commonly affected genes are, genes encoding potassium channel alpha and beta subunits, voltage-gated sodium channel, scaffolding protein, ankyrin B. Now let's come to the second syndrome which is Brugada syndrome, which is idiopathic ventricular fibrillation associated with right ventricular electrocardiographic abnormalities, without structural defects. It is also genetically heterogeneous and most frequently affected genes are sodium channel alpha subunit, SCN5A and the third one is catecholaminergic polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. It is also genetically heterogeneous and inherited. It is associated with stress and exercise-induced ventricular arrhythmias, causing syncope or sudden death. So this is all about of cardiac syncope and some important syndromes related to it. Thanks for watching video. If you like the video please share, comment. And if you have not subscribed to this channel please do subscribe. Thanks.